you know, excited about our team and where we're, where we think we can go, uh, right now it's purely, uh, development of fundamentals, uh, getting rebooted. It's not lost on us as a coaching staff that even our returning players lost three to four months of, you know, game opportunity to test their skill. And so we've kind of gone back to day one type fundamentals in each area of the game and excited to build our team around those and looking forward to getting back out and, and competing and, and enjoying this uh, fall training period that we have. How would you compare what you're able to do right now to what you normally would be able to do uh, in a fall practice setting? Yeah, the practice plans uh, look relatively the same for this type of year. I mean, players are wearing masks. We're a little more spread out. We're certainly fortunate here at Arizona to have the spring training complex behind us so we can kind of spread our team out for individual drills. Uh, another quick shout out to the city of Tucson for helping us out with that uh, during this pandemic. And it's allowed us to function at a high level. Uh, but in terms of fundamentals, putting things in, we have a very deliberate progression, uh, offensively base running, bunning, defensive individual skills and team defense. And, and we're working through that right now in terms of uh, the same way that we have in the past. Um, and so other than wearing a mask, being a little bit more deliberate about spreading out um, again, another lot of uh, a lot of good work by people at the university of Arizona and our athletic department uh, to get us in position to this. Our trainer, Isaac Trujillo uh, has done a great job as well. And yeah, so honestly um, there's been no change in terms of how we function other than the things that we need to do to prevent the spread of the virus. I know it's really early, but are there any freshmen that you feel like, are pretty likely to have an immediate contribution to the 2021 team? Well, I think there's a number of them that can, as is how I would answer that. I think that the talent in this particular group uh, exceeds any that we've had uh, at any one time. I think it'd be disrespectful to any of the players on our team to say, hey, this guy's got this position. In my opinion, every spot on the field is, is an open competition at this point in time. And I say that out of respect for every player, you know, Dante and Vince, you know, obviously they bring things to the table that we know they can be successful at. And I expect them to be able to do those types of things for our team. But uh, there's a lot of guys we feel good about. I think there's a lot of guys that can impact the game in different ways, both on the mound defensively and, and at the plate. And I'm really looking forward to see how the mix all kind of comes together. Um, several of them have opened my eyes and our coaching staff's eyes in a really positive way, but it'd be way premature to, to say, Hey, this guy's going to play here. And we're not even remotely there yet. I think last Friday night, I just kind of took a deep breath and said, man, this is so great to be back here with the lights on and even a three inning scrimmage happening. Since the whole COVID uh, pandemic, uh, you know, you kind of try to view everything as the same. I mean, we're, we're finally back on the field and doing the, the same things we would do as a, as a normal uh, fall. Um, but at the same time, it's just like, you can't engage as much as you want in with players, um, you know, the locker room situation. So it's like, at, at some point it's the same and then at some point it's, it's different. But as far as getting the work in on the field, um, I feel like we, we haven't missed a beat and it's right where we left off. Is it possible to uh, enjoy the college experience under these circumstances? Um, as an athlete, um, we we came here for one reason and one reason only, or like two reasons, school and become an athlete. And since these um, the pandemic happened, it's it's just important that you you have to be aware of why you came here. I mean, there, there are times you have to be stuck in your house instead of going out to get food or something. So um, it just pretty much to me just explains like how much uh, baseball really means and having a season really means to somebody. Uh, being able to follow the protocols and being able to follow all the stuff off the field and uh, how, what you're doing off the field and just making sure your life is straight uh, to be able to, to go and compete in the spring and even the fall. Having uh, a second year with Nate Yeski, you, you touched on it, but where do you think this pitching staff can go in the second year under him? 
Um, legit anywhere. I mean, Coach Yeski is probably one of the greatest baseball minds I've been around, and there's no there's no secret to why he's always he was the pitching coach of the year like two or three times. But he keeps preaching us about being competitive and always giving everything we have on every day because our uh, our baseball lifetime can never really be predicted. I mean, today could be the last day that we play. So realistically, he's just trying to teach us um, competitiveness and He's giving us a lot of insight on what we need to do to get better. But personally, I think this is probably one of the best pitching staffs I've been with. And there's a lot of guys that can compete. And there's going to be a lot of guys that are going to be really, really good this year. So Jay said right toward the end of when we were talking to him that he just kind of felt really grateful that you guys are able to do anything out there after what happened in spring. Is that sort of the general vibe, would you say, among everyone? I mean, it's really crazy to think about that. Like we've been, I forget how long we've been in quarantine, but like the, the thought that we would all be out there playing baseball again under the lights, it was just crazy because it felt like we were back to like normal almost, but realistically, like with all the restrictions, we don't care. We just want to play. That's all we want to do. 